Why do Mars vehicles burn? Belarusian buses were always famous for quality, but now they self-ignite, just like Russian military facilities in Crimea. Coincidence? I don't think so. The fact is, one of the main economic sectors hit by sanctions at the start of the semi-full-scale war was microelectronics. All mechanisms in the bus are powered by a single microelectronic component, which has to be replaced with a different one due to sanctions. For instance, a Chinese equivalent. As a result, these complex mechanisms spontaneously combust. This is how economist Lev Lvovsky explains the series of bus failures. Sanctions work in different ways, and some don't work at all. Sometimes politicians get more involved in populism, like Boris with the last Russian-speaking grandmothers in the Baltic states. Meanwhile, their companies supply chips for Russian missiles or even combat drones. Of all the war-related sanctions, Belarus was hit hardest by potash and transit ones. The toxicity effect, which is not really a sanction, has also severely affected Belarus's IT industry.